So we've been working on this project now for five years to get it to the point that it has been in construction for almost 16 months. Uh, substantial completion is scheduled for October 18th and we are actually a little bit ahead of schedule. We have no problem achieving that date at this point and we were on budget. One of the main drivers for the design of this building was to make it a transparent, open and inviting space. The old adage of a lab building that's closed up and, and nobody knows what's going on in each lab space is, is gone. They wanted to bring and invite the student population in and the idea is also to bring groups from several disciplines and have them collaborate into a piece of research in here and do some investigating. And then once that research done or the question's done or that project's over with, those folks go back to the discipline or the college that they came from. So as folks come and go, they could have different needs. The idea is to not have to remodel the building every time somebody moves in and out. As you walk around the building, you'll see um, installation of smart boards in the hallways. Again, as you're just gathered in furniture and collaborating with students and have ideas and you want to stand up and start writing or sketching, that's available. So we're, we're entering into what is labeled a flex lab. There can be a research or an investigation being done on this lab bench, a complete set of investigations and another group over here, but yet they can collaborate, perhaps share ideas and, and be open. So visualization labs, flex labs, wet labs, core labs, all kinds of disciplines can come in here and work in one building. Um, these collaborative research buildings seem to be where the you know, research world wants to be. I know this is a building that we'll be proud of for many, many years. The university should get many, many years of use out of it. And, and just the modernization it brings in the research and the lab equipment, it can't help but get utilized.